That's so true. Good morning, ferret. Good morning, Sunny. Sunny. Still don't know how to say your name properly. You do what? I eat them. I consume adult males for breakfast. Your favorite fembo? <laughs> How sweet. Stream night before exam again. Exactly, I'm doing that on purpose. I want you to fail your exams. I want you to, cr I want to cripple your education. So that then you become reliant on me, your local internet femboy. We need to hear a from you too. Welcome. Welcome, whatevs, one, 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 one. So true. I'm not evil. Wait, why am I evil? What did I do? <laughs> what did I do this time? No, no. Now I'm not just a brat, I'm an evil brat? Come on. It's not fair at all. Good morning, Google. I'm not gonna failing saying thank you. <laughs> I think guilty just fine. Don't got Goober. Hi Judy. Where am I? Ah! <laughs> Good morning, everyone. How are y'all doing today? Let's get this out of the way first. Boop. Boop. All right. Good morning, everyone. From your favorite brat. I mean, favorite fem... F favorite... Man. Big, big man. From your Good morning from your big man. Oh, it's so sweet. Thank you. And I think I got a follow. Thank you. The Luma Lumen Luminetrubele. Luminetrubele for following. Hi, big man. Hi, small man. Alright, good morning. Uh, thank you for the head pants. What are you all up to this morning? I'm very excited to do something today. Owie, I'm okay. I'll drink. I'll drink. I'll drink. Ah. Okay, rehydrated. Playing Portal Two. Oh, I love Portal Two. I remember playing Portal Two, and then I got stuck in a puzzle, and then I got, and I went, "This game sucks." I hate puzzles. Ow. Jack Saros, thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate that. <clears throat> thank you so much for the generosity. But yeah, when I, f I played Portal 2, I was like, wow, this game is really f ow. This game is really fun. <clears throat> and then I played it for like two hours. And then I got stuck at one of the puzzles and I got angry and then I quit and then I never played it again. And so I never beat Portal 2. I maybe got like three hours into it, maybe. <laughs> maybe that's a strong maybe. I'm just not, I'm not very good at puzzles. Um, yeah, not my strong suit. Thinking's not really my strong suit. Don't be mean to me. I have, I had good reasons. Okay. I have my reasons. Don't judge me for that. Don't judge me for my lack of Portal 2. Judge me for my other characteristics, okay? You can't just judge me off my capacity to play puzzle video games. You have to judge me off my whole character. Such as my big smile, my silly pink hair, huh? stuff like that. My big juicy legs, stuff like that. 
Hmm. I'm drinking, I'm drinking. And I'm still drinking coffee. Coffee so I don't fall asleep and die. It's the morning, I need my silly coffee. Even my pebble bane finished the game. Okay, that's completely different. If you want that's, that's cheating. That's cheating. Owie. What's with all the abuse this morning? Goofy Gooberness. So true. <gasps> Floating Goober. So true. Today we're gonna do something extra silly, I think. Because I've been wanting to do this for a while. And I think you guys will enjoy it too. Not silly fat not silly tax fraud, something much better. Something much more better than that. So Um I've been thinking about what games to play for like I, I mean it's it's a it's a topic that comes up all the time and so I've been thinking about what game to play that we can play maybe for a while. Maybe for a bit longer. Ow 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 is he oh dear, Snoob's boy voice. Oh dear, Snoob's boy voice. What do you mean, oh dear? Slash. What do you mean, oh dear? <laughs> so true. Jack Soros, did you really subscribe with Prime before sending a single message in my chat, you goober? You silly goober? That is far too silly. We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to punish you for that. For being too silly. I don't know about Postal 2. It's a little out of island, I think. But yeah. I'm always thinking about what game we should be playing. You know? What game can I take chat on for like a long-term adventure? Right? It's like engaging to both myself and to the audience, right? And I was thinking. Close, close. Very close. It's one of the funnest games I've played in a hot minute. Can you guess what it is? I like your voice. Thank you, Helen. It's very sweet of you. Thank you. Farming Simulator. Also very close. Honkai. Not quite. Actually, very close. Honkai is very close. What the heck is Bolt Gun? Undertale? No, not Bolt Gun. Not Genshin. That's right. We are going to do what you've all been waiting for. Even if you didn't know you've been waiting for it. We're going to do a hardcore Minecraft world. Woohoo! And I've been wanting to do this for such a long time. Since the update just came out, this is a perfect time, I think. I'm just gonna give it a try. I'm gonna see what it's like. It's 2012 all over again. So true. See, I make you feel so young. I make you feel like it's 2012. Like it's 11 years ago. <laughs> Come on, you know, you guys know how passionate I am about my Minecraft. Now let me just boot up the silly game. What do we want to bet? What do we want to bet when I die? Is the question. I mean, if well, I won't die, but like, if that were to possibly happen. Right? So j Oh, I'm, I didn't run. I launched the wrong game. I'm silly. I'm silly. I'm so silly. Oh, I'm such a silly boy. Oh, I'm such a silly boy. That's me. I'm such a silly boy. I'm so silly. That they did come out, right? Do you have they did come out? Okay, so five for five minutes.
Ooh. Mm, tasty. Okay, shock to my... <coughs> Checked on my copy a little bit there, but that's okay. That's... <coughs> it's all part of the show. It's all part of the experience that I've tailored for you. Coughing violently. Just ask how much I love you guys. I choke on coffee on purpose for you. Chew your food? Are you barfing? No, I'm not barfing. I'm boying. Ugh, oh, goodness. Well, maybe this... Uh, uh, I put a little drop of honey in my coffee. Oh, Maybe this is a good thing. Maybe this is a good thing. Because now my lungs are... My lungs are caffeinated now, so which means they'll have more energy and then they can be better at breathing. This is a good thing. This is a good th <laughs> I'm drinking, I'm drinking, I'm drinking. I squish. Where was I drink? Alright. Okay, I drank water. Thank you for the redeem, Big Wooper. All right, let's get right into Owie. Let's get right into it. Finally, I've been so excited for this. Make sure the sound's good. Can you hear it? Testing, testing. Can you hear that? Can you hear the game? Can you hear the game? Are you able to hear the game? Hmm. Yes? Great. I... Can you hear the game? Can you hear the... I didn't put it up yet. Alright, let's go. Can you guys see it? Anything working? Anything... Everything good? Moshing is also known as Pogo in Western Europe. So true. All right, can you hear it though? Can you hear it? Sound good? Sound good? Sound good? All right, let's go. I've never done a hardcore world before, so this is going to be a first time for me as well. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are too. Heck, I know you guys are. Let's freaking go. Come on, Snooper. Awesome. Hardcore world M. World settings, blah blah blah. Give me that chest. I need that. I need that chest. Where's my chest? Why can't I turn the chest? It's over. Whatever. I don't need it. I'm a gamer. God, I love Minecraft. Gosh, it's been a while since I got to play some Minecraft. Just on my own. Can you meow? Meow. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Oh, come on. Yeah. Minecraft hardcore, baby. Let's go. Yeah. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. Yeah. Come on. Oh, at the tree, at the tree, at the tree. Oh, come on. Oh, one birch log. Come on. Oops. Can we craft some planks? Oh, four wooden planks. Come on. Yes. Yes. Come on. Minecraft hardcore.
<coughs> oh, what happened? Oh, good morning, chat. What are we up to today? Here's my coffee. Welcome back. You love the plank stream? Oh, I'm glad you think so. <sighs> well, that's enough of. Oh, that was a. That was a good chunk of Minecraft. I think we made a lot of progress in our world so far. Um, I'm a little. A little tired from all the like, all the gaming we did today, though. So, we're just gonna take a we're just gonna call it a night for Minecraft. That's enough Minecraft hardcore. I mean, I had a lot of fun with it. Really, just took my breath away. The new update. Go back to the chatting stream. Don't die again, please. So true. Welcome back to the world of the living. I didn't die. I was just <clears throat> temporarily departed from this corporeal dimension. So that's, that's different from dying. I was just... My spirit was just moved somewhere else temporarily. <clears throat> Stevie, what is the best country? Whichever one you guys are living in. Overall, that was a good con that was a good overview of all the new content as well. Very cool. I agree. It was you know it was a lot to go through, but you know, <clears throat> I had fun exploring all the new features and stuff. <clears throat> it's not death. It's it's completely different. Tune in next week where we'll be doing redstone computers and automated farms <clears throat> and the Nether and stuff. I love video games. That's me. Blood was as snug as a bug in a rug. That was a cute. That's such a cute message. <laughs> I'm gonna do some mining off camera. Hmm. <sighs> so true. Steely Dan got their name from a sexual device depicted in the book The Naked Lunch. I don't know who that is, nor do I know that book. I have no idea what that means. I'm stupid. I'm very, very stupid. Okay, that useless fact is awesome. Do you know any weird facts? Let me- do I know any weird facts? Let me think. Um, there is one pretty good fact that I'm fond of. It's, um, the fact that I'm inside your home. Lauren Green had one of his, I can't say that word on Twitch, bitten off by an alligator while he's host of... That's freaking crazy. That's also not a very nice thought to think about. Okay, just stay away from my monster? No. Your monster is mine. <laughs> I'm the femboy that lives under your bed. Make sure to check your under your bed every night. For fanboys. If you don't, well, then they're just gonna, they're just gonna come creep up on you in your sleep and just give you a good old good night kiss. And also steal your estrogen. But mostly, mostly the former. Mostly, you know, they're, they're just there to give you a good night's kiss. Can you grab me a drink from the fridge then? No. No. Because I brought my own drink. 
some fresh homemade milk. Good luck stealing my estrogen. I've already stolen your estrogen. By being here, I kind of like sap your estrogen through the screen. It's kind of why I do this in the first place. You guys don't realize this, but as you're sitting there, I'm just slowly sapping away your estrogen. I just get more powerful. More powerful by the minute. Cow milk, right? Not answering that. Bed bugs? Nah, futon fem <laughs> So true. Power bottom? <clears throat> What's a power bottom? That will be why my gym games have been so good lately. You're welcome, Bingus. Anything for you, buddy. Philippe. Philippe. Philly P. Zero, 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 zero. Hey, Philly P. Zero, 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 zero. Too bad for you. I don't have estrogen. I snorted them all. So true. Aw, oh, thanks. The. So true. So true. <laughs> Proud degenerate time? Why are you degenerating? Why are you degenerate? What did you do this time? <laughs> no, the. Yes, the. What's wrong with a good old the every now and then? Hmm? So true. 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 <clears throat> Guys, how do you call them sick for work? Because I've been thinking about doing that recently. What should I order for dinner? Go cook something, you goober! Unless you're really tired, in which case just order something cheap, I guess. I don't know. I don't know where you live, so I can't really order answer that question for you. Because I basically exclusively eat, like, Asian cuisine. I'll have like western food maybe like one day out of a hundred days. Just like some spaghetti or something and it's like woohoo! You know, I don't really... It's not really for me. Um, kimchi fried rice. So yeah. It, it completely depends where you live, I think. So true! Kimchi fried rice. That's easy to make at home, though. Maybe. I don't know. Kimchi can be very uh, hit or miss. Especially where you buy it from. Depends. Are you sick? Yeah, that's the thing. I was thinking about calling in for work, but um, I don't really know how to. Like, am I supposed to... Am I supposed to... Okay, because when I call in sick, I have to talk to my manager. So do I go like, oh, oh, I'm, I'm, do I just go like, hey, I'm not feeling good, so I'm not coming in? Or do I have to like really sell it? If I call in sick for work, do I have to really sell it? Like, do I have to go like, oh, oh, oh I'm, not, I'm dying. Oh, I'm not, I can't work tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> oh no. You know, do I, do I have to do that? Like when I'm telling my manager that I can't go to work? Depends on my manager. I gotta really sell the performance, I think. I gotta really put on, like, the Oscars actor performance. Not really now. What's the best way to get femme plus without your parents knowing? Honestly, move out. And if you're not rich enough to do that, well, you're just gonna have to... You have to, you know. Uh... That is something you're gonna have to deal with eventually. Um, but probably just have a friend keep them for you. 
is probably a good one. Sorry, Bass, can't come in because I died. <laughs> I died. <laughs> I'm back. Did he die? I didn't die, Ow. I'm just taking a break. Send an email and they'll pick up calls. What do they expect the security to pick up more calls? That is true. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll figure out some master plan. Sorry, boss. Died of caffeine to the bloodstream. I don't have that. It was one cup of coffee, guys. One cup of coffee. I'm not going to die from one cup of silly coffee. One cup of quirky, silly coffee. So true. 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 More coffee for God of coffee. Aw. I gotta go. Sounds good. See you later, Squish. Have a good day. But yeah, what have you guys been up to this week? Mm. I overdose on one cup of coffee. Scary. Don't trust fanboys with coffee. There, yeah, I had when I was when I was a lot younger. I had like a one sip of an energy drink. I think it was called Nos. I don't even know if they still sell it. It's like Nos or whatever. This stream is not sponsored by Nos. But yeah, I was like a kid back then. I was too young for coffee, or too young for caffeine. I was like bouncing around the neighborhood after literally one sip. It's crazy. Mm. Don't, don't, don't drink, uh, too many energy drinks, by the way. If that's something you do regularly, you know, quit it. It's not good for you. Because <clears throat> energy drinks also tend to have a lot of sugar in them as well. So it's not just a caffeine. Also, they're kind of expensive. They're like, they're like, what? A couple dollars a can or something? Those things are expensive to drink regularly. Coffee mellows me, coffee mellows me out. You mellow me out. Jack so Ross, you mellow me out. Huh? How do you like that, huh? You mellow me out. Two for five dollars? That's pretty... That's a good thing. That's a good thing. That's a good thing, Jack so. I think, at least. Two per day is the limit. Trust me, I tried. Yeah, if you're able to drink more than three... Ow. If you're able to drink more than three energy drinks a day, you're either A, really resistant to caffeine, B really rich or C you're not rich and you just don't have good spending habits because that six dollars oh my goodness two for five dollars is not cheap not at all what are kitty stones is that like a rare mineral D all of the above so true I'm super resistant to caffeine goober did you have too much of it? I've had a week of holiday between uni year ending and my work starting, so I've just been chilling this week. Oh! Congratulations, Sand. You got a new job? That's so awesome. I'm so happy for you, Sand. I've got a few more day offs tomorrow as well. I don't know if I'll do another stream tomorrow. Because it's Monday. No, no, no. What day is it today? What day is it today? It's Sunday, right? Okay, you gotta... No, okay, I do. That's three days off. But should I do another stream later in the weekday? But then I have to do some more work. No, I think I'll just wait till next Friday. Because then I have to spend my day off doing the recordings for YouTube. And also getting the new art and stuff, so... 3D should be more than enough, but we'll see. If I get that stuff all done, then I can maybe squeeze in something, but I shouldn't make any plans right now. I should just do that. Can I have hugs? Absolutely. Absolutely, you can. I can't move my arms, so you just picture me giving you a hug. I, I physically can't move my arms. You'll, you'll just have to picture it. What is up, blood? Why do you keep calling me blood? Woots. Thank you for the head pats. For the rest of you though, 
What have the rest of you been doing all week? Huh? Sans out here moving up in the world, finishing school, getting a job. What are you goobers up to, huh? What are you other goobers up to, huh? Come on, tell me what you've been doing this week. Make me proud. Make your local fanboy proud. I'm your dad now. Oh, son? And or daughter? And or... Other category child? What have you accomplished this week? The masculine urge to impulsively spend money to get a silly little badge is so true, man. I, I really, that's just the greatest feeling in the world, man. Spending, spending you real dollars to get a silly little badge. Mm. Especially when it's spent on like a, like a, like a local fanboy VTuber, man. That's, that's just the best feeling in the world, you know. Like, no bias at all. It's scientifically proven that when you spend money on fanboy VTubers, like your serotonin shoots up by 3000%. And then your brain explodes, and then you die. Mm. Played through the entirety of Fire Emblem Engaged when I should have been studying. I haven't played that game yet. I have not managed to get through a single Fire Emblem game. Also, I've only played one Fire Emblem game, which was... You're moving stuff? Aw, oh, you pulled something? I'm sorry. Here. <laughs> Do you need someone to kiss it better? You goober? No vodka. This is a vodka free chat. We only sell lemonade and milk. Those are your two options. No vodka, no silly beer, no alcoholic beverages. That's bad for you. We sell milk and lemonade here. Only coffee? Well, the coffee comes with milk. You'll take the milk? So, no worries. You'll get your, you'll get your first vial of milk when you order on Patreon.com. I like vodka, though. No! No vodka here. There's children here. Lemonade and tequila. Goobers. You alcoholic goobers. Stop that. Where's my milk, Snoopy? It's coming. It's just in the mail. It's coming. It is coming. Answer due for the win. So true. You got 90% overall for the term. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever gotten 90% at all in any class at all. I'm not very smart. Snoopy milk. Snoopy branded milk. So true. Dumb fanboy? I'm not dumb. I am dumb. 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 Does your milkshake bring all the boys to the yard? So true. I lure them. I lure them over with my milkshake. Lure them over to my yard. And then I eat them. I consume them. For protein intake. I eat all the boys for their estrogen. Cute little... No. <laughs> he got stuck in a loop. We gotta reset him. Dumped. I'm dumped. So true. Men of estrogen? More than women. You'd be surprised. That was a lie, by the way. I lied. Don't don't believe everything people say on the internet. I, I will lie. For no reason. I will lie to you for absolutely no reason at all. I have nothing to gain from lying to you. And I will do it anyways. Mark my words. Believe everything this VTuber says. So true. So true. Saku's got the right idea. What 
What the heck is an impossible whopping? For only two easy payments a month, I will lie to you. For free. I trust you with my heart and soul. Goofy. The only news that you can trust in this day and age is the word that comes out of a fanboy's mouth. You can't trust the media. You can't trust those researchers. They're all covering it up. Only we know the truth. Snoopy milk straight from the tap. You can trust me. Snoopy ADC and Snapple streaming right now. Triple boy attack. So true. What about cat boys? What about cat boys? I can't even trust my cat. I haven't had a cat yet. I feel like it'd be difficult though, because you can't really predict what they'd be like. Cats have such varying personalities. I feel like it'd be a lot of trouble if I got a cat and then it just started knocking things over because it just liked to do that. Like, what am I, what am I supposed to do with that? If I just bought a cat and it just started knocking things over, like, like, what do you want me to do with this cat? Like, it's... <laughs> I don't think you could really train them not to do it, right? It's... Uh... Dogs are more... Dogs are more like femboys, you know. They're they're very malleable, very easy to train. They'll just kind of obey on command, you know. Cats are naturally evil. Don't trust cat boys. Someday the cat femboys will consume the earth. What should you do? Well, I'll just be chilling. But I'm I'm part of that, so I I just be chilling. I trained my cat like a dog. You train my cat to do a lot of things? Oh, that's so sweet. Okay. Can you put a leash on a cat and just take it for a walk, though? I'd love to do that. It's such a silly idea. Why not? Why can't we take- why can't we take cats for walks? I'll be sleeping as usual. That reminds me, though. Have you guys seen that video of, like, capybaras going on a walk? Oh my goodness. No, I need to show you that video. Been a hot minute since we went on silly YouTube. I want to show you this video. It's the most precious thing. Actually, is this copyrighted? Hold on, let me see. Do do do. Oh, this is so sweet. Okay, let me let me let me pull this up. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet and it's so cute. It's already been forty minutes. So true. Has it already been forty minutes? That's silly. That's really goofy. I gotta go. Have a good day, Aaron. Sounds good. See you later, Vingus. You have a great day. Take care. What kind of music do you like? I really don't listen to all that much music, honestly. People ask me stuff like, "Oh, what kind of quest? Like, what kind of albums do you listen to?" I'm not like a huge music head. I will just listen to, if I just hear something catchy, then I'll just listen to that, like, you know, on repeat for, like, the next couple of days. What about metal? I'm not a huge fan of metal, honestly. If it's, like, really light, then yeah, sure, because that stuff tends to be more melodic. But if it's, like, really heavy, like, death metal, it, it kind of just blends into this noise that I'm not a huge fan of at all. And the vocals too also just become like this guttural screaming where you can't really tell what's going on. It kind of becomes like mumble rap almost. My cat leech trained? That is the silliest thing I've heard all day. Such a cute model. Thank you so much, Katori. That's so sweet. Thank you. I'm glad you think so. Okay. Let me show you the silly video. How do I show you the silly video? Does this work? Does this work? Does this work? It doesn't work. I don't think I have it set up properly. So true. Open that up. Big welcome to Katori to the chat. Sometimes you just need noise. I don't know. 
know. I don't. I'm not a huge. It's just so noisy. It's like, it's like what people say about dubstep, right? People, people go like, oh, you know. Yeah, I'm not exactly. I don't. Don't take my word for it. Like, if you like these things, absolutely. You know, it's all power to you. Because I'm not like a music critic at all. Like, I don't. A, I don't listen to that much music in the first place. B, I don't really have any music history. So you know, I am absolutely just saying like. You know, like an uneducated, it is, it is like an uneducated opinion, right? So, it is just what I listen to and what I feel from it. So true. I want to say I want to show you guys a little bit about this video. Hold on. This one. Can you guys, all right, can you guys, I don't know if you can hear this. Let's try this. <laughs> Aww. Oh my goodness. Look at them. Oh my goodness. Oh, this just melts my heart. Yeah. Look at them! I want to do that. Are they potty chained? Those goobers. I'm talking to you. They're just so precious, oh my goodness. Just fine, thanks. Oh my Look at them, they're actually just straight up dogs. <laughs> they're chewing on the leaf. <laughs> oh my goodness. No thoughts, just head empty. Just walks around and chews. My goodness. See how big he is? The little one? Not little anymore. So majestic. Oh, yeah. This is definitely, uh, by all accounts and possible measures, this is definitely a creature. What are their names? This one's Romeo, because he's a kisser. And this one's Tuffin, because he's a tough guy. <laughs> oh. Look at the wall away. Oh. This is definitely on my bucket list. <laughs> I want to take a coffee bar on a walk. See if he sees the mirror. They're so sweet. They're actually, they yes. actually just act exactly like dogs. Look, they're just sniffing. They're like really slow moving dogs. <laughs> that they constantly get distracted by their very tasty leash, apparently. That they just want to. <laughs> Nibble on so badly. Hi Violet Saint, how are you doing today? Welcome to the chat. Better than dogs? They're so rotund. My goodness. What do I think about corgis? They're sweet, but you know, all, all dogs are sweet. So. I don't really have specific thoughts about corgis. No, because I think that all dogs are, you know, great, We're getting them ready for the adorable, and beautiful. <laughs> Come on, guys. What are they called? They're capybaras. Chica Gosh. If it's okay with you. Do they do anything, or do they just keep? I wouldn't expect them to do anything. Uh, you know, they just keep trying. To <gasps> oh! Oh my goodness! And he's eating the leash. <laughs> Never mind. He just wanted a nice, tasty, tasty treat. Apparently. Look at these little goobers go. Oh, they're so round! They're so round! Goodness gracious. I wonder if they run. Do they run at all? Wait, 
how did they get up there? Did they jump? Oh, they jumped! Hold on, hold on, I need to see this. Let's get an instant replay of that, hold on. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at that! Finesse! These creatures. Ow! Have we seen you in a minute, pretty boy? Same to you, goofy zombie. Man, this really just melts my heart. No, oh my goodness. Look how curious they are. Yet all the things they're just so slow moving. <laughs> they really are just slow motion dogs, aren't they? My goodness. Are they eating the hay? Don't do that. It's not your property. Get off there. They move so slowly. <laughs> They're actually just in slow motion all the time. Oh well, yeah, I just wanted to share that. Now, were we talking about something important before we got, I got distracted with the silly goobers? I did not know they could jump. That must be part of the new update. They can jump! Have you ever seen that video of them jumping over the owl? Owie! I'm drinking, I'm drinking. Thank you for the redeem. Base video. Relaxed dogs, that is true. The dog, the family dog I used to have was very anxious all the time. Like, he's he's passed it away from old age now, but, you know, his main characteristic, my old dog, was, um, from, from, from birth to, ow, like, throughout his entire life he had very extreme separation anxiety, so... My dog, whenever, like, we would leave the house, he would just go to the front, like, the window, um, that faces out the front of the house. And he sits on the couch that we position there so that he can wait there. And he just, every single time, you know, when we're, when we're leaving the house, when we're backing out of the driveway, you can just hear, There was never a single time that he wouldn't, like, maybe if he was, like, sleeping or, like, feeling sick or something, then he wouldn't. That's, like, the only situation he wouldn't do that. But, like, I, I'd say 99% of the time, if you were the- it doesn't matter, by the way, because he just needed someone in the house. If the house was ever empty, like, if you were the last person leaving the house, always, 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 he'd just go to the window and just go, oh! the silliest thing it's not sad he just <laughs> he's just a little worry he was just a little worry word is all according to according to some neighbors though apparently because we we're not there to like you know we don't have like a nanny cam or anything so we can't see him when he's home so all we see is like him when we're leaving the driveway or something but according to our neighbors um, he will actually take, he, he would have actually taken breaks <laughs> and then restart again in, in intervals. So he'd go, oh, oh, he'd howl for like 10 minutes and then take like a 10 minute break and then start howling again for another 10 minutes. <laughs> it's the silliest thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's passed it away now from old age. Goob bless his soul. I might get another pet in the future. Maybe like a rat or something. Rats did not live very long though. I wish they lived a lot longer. Because, you know. Rats only having a lifespan of two years is really, really short. 
in the grand scheme of things. Like, if you think pet lifespans are short, like 10 for a dog and like 15 for a cat or something, rats only live two years. Which is, you know, an astonishing amount of time. Astonishingly short amount of time is what I meant to say. I thought about getting rats, but... I don't know. I, I don't want to get... They breed fast enough, though? Don't you- do you have to be certified to breed rats or something? Well, I mean, if you just had two rats, wouldn't that just become like an incest fest really quickly? You would need to get like other rats, right? Okay, parrots live too long though. Parrots will outlive their owners though, I'm pretty sure. No, no, no. Maybe not parrots. What are they called? Lovebirds. Lovebirds apparently live freakishly long time. Like, does anyone know the, the lifespan of a lovebird? Let me, let, me, let me look this up. Hold on. I need to find this up. Lovebird lifespan. Really? It's the... It's called the cockatiel, I think, right? That's the one, right? Cockatiel. Cockatiel lifespan. Really? I thought they lived longer than that. No, it's like, I guess it's just parrots. Cockatoos. Why do all these birds have cock in their name? That it's remarkably homosexual. Gray parrots. How long do parrots live? Holy smokes. So cockatoos for 40 to 60 years. This are 40 to 80 years, 50 years. These things are old. Oh my jeez Louise. How long do... Why do parrots live so long? Why do they live so long? That's crazy. But that's so crazy to think about. Like, if you think about it, like, a rat is probably bigger. Marginally bigger than a bird. Well, maybe that's why they don't live as long. That's crazy though. Like a bird has a 50 year lifespan and a rat has two years. That's crazy. It's not fair. These little creatures. They live such short lives. So if you ever get a pet rat, you know, you gotta make sure that you, you give them a lot of love and they can live a fulfilling life in the short amount of time that they're here. And you know what? That also extends to all of us. Because we all gotta do our best to live fulfilling lives for ourselves and for those around us. My cat is six years old. That's still pretty young. That's in its prime, I think. Six years is not that old for a cat. <clears throat> My rat tried eating birds, he's goofy. He's trying to absorb their lifespan. If a rat eats a bird, you know, it'll live like another 10 years or something. So true. So true. What is profundity? Is that like profanity? I don't say bad words. Bad words are bad. That's why they call them bad words. Because they're bad. I want a rat. I want several rats. But then if there's too many rats, well then you just have a rat infestation. And that's not good. There's a mouse once. I was walking my dog once. I don't know if it was a rat or if it was a mouse, but I distinctly remember walking to this new area. It was like a new complex of, um, it was a new housing complex or whatever. And in one particular patch of grass, I noticed my dog was just you know, very quietly sniffing something. And so I went over to investigate, you know, is he, is he sniffing? And is he sniffing like a, a poopy? Is he sniffing a doggy poopy? And if, he, if he's sniffing a doggy poopy, you know, we got we can't do that. You can't do that, you goober. Or if he's sniffing, like, you know, whatever. He could be sniffing food or something because he has a tendency to eat whatever is off the ground. No. <clears throat> there was something very particular in the in the grass. It was... I don't know if it was a mouse... It was either a mouse or a rat. 
just in the grass outside. And I thought it was really cute. It was, it was just kind of chilling there. It did not move an inch. It was kind of frozen. I think it was scared of the silly dog. My stupid dog that was just sniffing it. It was just sitting there doing nothing. And I will probably remember that for the rest of my life. Such a silly little creature just sitting in the grass. I have a backyard chipmunk who is basically a pet at this point. Oh, how long do chipmunks live? You're a healthy boy. Stop eating rats. It's not good for you. It's also not good for the rats. Rats die when you eat them. I used to have one infestation that is not a pet rat. Oh. I want cat boy. <coughs> <coughs> so true. Don't we all? Don't we all, Akri chan? I'm a cat boy. I eat rats. I've always wondered what it would taste like. Just like a rat on a stick. You put it over a fire. <laughs> like you see in those. In those movies where they just take like a skewer through a rat and just hold it over a fire like that. Probably doesn't taste very good, but it's not cleaned and stuff. Yucky. That's a yucky thought, actually. No. I would not eat a rat. They're covered in hair. They've got this yucky stuff inside. They're dirty. They eat poopy and stuff. Yucky. Not for me. It, ch it chop mic Mikey she's chizen. Thank you so much for following. I'm Polly Bear on this account. So true. Mm -hmm. Snoopy streams are comfort streams. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm glad. I'm glad I can be comfort stream for you. Baba Booey. Baba Booey. Baba Booey. Baba Booey. Baba boy, Baba boy, Baba boy. There was a m lynx living underneath my family cabin since we didn't use it for a while. There was also a family of raccoons living under our, our um, <clears throat> what do you call it? I just call it a patio. Like when you go outside and there's like a wood floor, that's a patio, right? Or a porch? Or a porch? What is that called? A skedaddle? A gazebo? Like what do you, what do you call it? A deck! A deck. I was close. That was my second guess. Second guess. It was deck. Right? Underneath the deck there were a family of raccoons. I don't remember what we did about them. I was very very scared for my dog though. Because you know sheltered dogs are very stupid. They they don't really recognize danger at all. Because if he, if he went underneath to say hi to those raccoons, oh my goodness, they probably would have eaten him for breakfast. Raccoons are no joke. I saw a skunk the other day. Skunks are weird creatures. They're a lot less... How do, how do you describe it? Like, I don't know if all skunks look like this, but the skunk that I saw... Like, whatever image you have of a skunk, you know, like a cartoon character or whatever, or like, you know, really like, you know, highly edited photos of like very pampered or like, you know, maybe zoo kept skunks or whatever, you know, stuff that you'd see like on Getty images, Getty images or something like stock photos of skunks. Those are all like really like nice looking skunks. I don't know if... This skunk was just weird in particular, but I don't know how else to describe this, but this skunk kind of just looked... The skunk kind of looked like, um, how do you say it? How do you put this lightly? The skunk that I saw kind of looked like a crackhead. <laughs> it was really skinny and it, like the hairs were like all over the place. <laughs> really scrawny and just... It looked like a dirty rat almost. It was just the most. It took me a while to recognize it as a skunk. 
But they're a lot scrawnier than I thought they were. There wasn't that much hair on his body. Mangy! Mangy! Yes, the word- Okay, yes. Thank you, Ferret. The word is mangy. Not crackhead! That was probably a better word than crackhead. I thank you. <laughs> the word I was looking for is mangy. Not crack. <laughs> hmm. but yeah. It was chill though. It was chill. It was just walking around. He's going to rehab now? Yeah, he was just cruising. He was... It seemed quite docile. It didn't seem like afraid. I, w I was very wary of it, you know? Because the moment I saw it, I froze and then like slowly backed away because, you know, you don't want to startle a skunk. But it seemed very docile. It would just walk around. I think because it was living in the neighborhood, it was used to like humans around it. So true. You got a lot of weird looking coyotes around here. I saw coyotes for the first time recently, maybe like three weeks ago. I was driving home. And just these two creatures just running, running across the road. It was the most fascinating thing because I've never actually seen a coyote perform in person. This is my first time seeing a fanboy stream? Welcome, welcome. Welcome, Theon. Welcome, Theon Abovial 1182. He's in the hood. They run really fast though, coyotes. Oh my goodness. But I was I was on like a like almost on the highway, so I couldn't like slow down to watch them. My goodness. Such a little majestic creatures. Just a couple of them. Maybe they were family, maybe it was like, I don't know. Like a male and female partner or whatever. Or male and male partner, who knows? Maybe maybe some gay coyotes, I don't know. But just a pair of them were running across the road and, you know, I thought that was really fascinating. You see a lot of animals when you're in a car. Admittedly, sometimes when you see animals, they're kind of pancaked on the side of the road. But you know what? There's not much you can do about that when those goobers kind of just waddle onto the road. Um, I saw a black, bar black bear. It was just kind of. No, I didn't. We didn't turn around to get a like a. So we we did turn around to get a good look at it actually, but it was kind of already wandering off by the time we saw it, and so we just saw this big. It wasn't very big. It was a small black bear's bum, just wandering in a ditch for some reason. I don't know what it was doing in a ditch, but it was, it was there, and it was a black bear. And he was just cruising. But again, I think a lot of these creatures are kind of accustomed to humans around it. It didn't really react all that much. Gay coyotes. So true. Bear jump scare. Armadillos. Armadillos cute. Armadillos seem like nice creatures. But yeah, guys. If it ever, if at any point, you know, we become able to do it. We absolutely got to open a goober farm, a capybara farm, our very own capybara zoo, like a petting zoo. That's my dream. Just a whole bunch of goobers just sitting around in, you know, in little hot tubs or whatever, just chilling, nibbling on grass all day or watermelons. I don't know what capybaras eat. Probably human flesh. Probably. Is it raining there? It is not raining there. I'm not too close to the funny wildfires that have been going on recently, which is nice. I'm not on fire, which is always a nice part, you know, when you're not on fire and burning to death. I have not yet disintegrated into a pile of ash, which is a pretty good sign as far as I'm aware. I saw some baby deer while I was going for a run a few days ago. Yeah, deers are cute. They're also dumb. Deers are stupendously dumb, I think. Tremor last night. Oh shoot, which area, Demgon? <laughs> we got a silly earthquake coming up. Sometimes there's cool stuff to find in a ditch. True! 
How often do you get to say you found a bear, black bear in a ditch, huh? <clears throat> moose too, they just kind of chill on the road. Okay, we all a moose is allowed to chill on the road. Because if you run into a moose, you know, the moose is probably just going to be fine. And you're just going <laughs> to... You're going to have a very crumpled up car. Meese are absolutely... Absolute units of creatures. They're almost as strong as I am. Yeah, I am Canadian. I do hail from Canada. The mystical realm. Canada. So true. We have custom body Not in my area. I'm in a very pretty urban area, so meese aren't exactly a thing here. It's like a red triangle with a moose. Land of hockey maple syrup. Neither of which I like, by the way. Not a not a huge fan of either of them. Maple syrup's weird. Why don't I just have honey? I hope your igloo doesn't melt from the fire. That is not very nice. That is a stereotype. And you should be ashamed of yourself. Canadian maple syrup. So true. Oh shoot, it's already been an hour and 60 minutes. Okay, I have got to get some lunch. So, we're going to wrap it up for tonight here. Um, Any last minute thoughts on people's minds that I haven't covered yet? Any topics that I distracted myself and didn't finish? I don't think so. I gotta get to work. I gotta eat some lunch. And later on this week, I gotta work on some more recording stuff. Probably get some more- ah! 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 What the heck was that for? What was that for? Owie. Thank you, Saku. But owie. I'll see you guys later. I'll get out. Thank you. Thank you, Saku. You're very sweet. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Bye, everyone. Love you guys. Take care. And I'll see you guys on Friday, I think. Or Wednesday, if I'm feeling quirky. Quirky. Or Thursday, if I'm feeling like a quirked up femboy. Take care, everyone. Stupid signing off.